Hey guys, Phil here with AO Reliance. Welcome back to the channel. Just shooting a, a quick video. This might turn into a couple different series of videos here in the next day or so, but uh, I gotta I gotta figure out some new uh, video editing software because YouTube took away the uh, you know friendly user friendly editor that they had on their uh, their site. It's no longer there and available, so now I gotta learn how to use a more advanced kind of uh, video editing software but this video may or may not find its way onto YouTube. I'm, I'm primarily shooting this unboxing um, to share with my brother who's in the Air Force. Um, anyways, uh, what I'm unboxing today is the Essential Carry System made by uh, Jason with the Primal, Out Primal Outdoors channel. Um, he's uh, headquartered up there in Eastern Oregon, I believe, or Washington, one of the two. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's Oregon, Eastern Oregon. But uh, he hand makes these uh, essential carry systems. And this unboxing, this piece of uh, kit is what I'm going to use in lieu of uh, deuce gear, as the Marine Corps kind of prescribes in their uh, four hour patrol loadout and in their uh, four day patrol loadout and this is uh, you know what what would be their deuce gear which is primarily for the military it's a pistol belt and uh, an H harness or Y harness with two one quart canteens uh, maybe a fanny pack with a little bit of gear in it and then of course on the pistol belt they would have all their ammunition for the rifle and everything um, I'm not going to show that on uh, on my channel. There's a million different ways you could go with it, um, and there's a million different channels out there that that show you how to do that. But anyways, I wanted to unbox this ECS. See what we got going on here. So it looks like what we got here is this would be what he would call his expansion pack with the uh, canteen holder attached to the bottom. Uh, yeah, and it does separate. It's got some uh, different kind of clips on it that I, I haven't seen before, but it is a uh, fairly rugged material. Um, just off the bat, it is a rugged material. I, I think it's a very durable material, but it, it uh, it's kind of hard. So if you're going to be archery hunting or scouting, glassing up animals or, or whatever out there in the desert or the woods or wherever you're at, you're going to want to pay attention to what you're walking through because uh, it is, I can see it being kind of loud if you rub it against the brush. Um, got some uh, molly webbing here. Right, you can tie some stuff off here. It looks like he's got two rows on the side of the expansion pack. One there, one there. Um, that's just reinforcing down there. Uh, look like bedroll or jacket uh, loops. So you can, you know, uh, roll up a jacket or maybe a, a small sleeping bag or something. Two there. Of course, the canteen holder. Now, what's interesting about this is is you got this one kind of document pouch right here. It's not very, it it's, goes down to there, but it's, as far as width, it's pretty shallow. So this would be a spot where I would probably keep, a, you know, a, a maps and maybe a, a package of wet ones or something in there. Then what's interesting about this is this is his new expansion pack. He used to have a clamshell lid that had another pouch in the top. And you just stuff all your items in from the top, but you know, uh, after years of use and, and stuff up there in Oregon where he plays around at, he decided that having two zippers on the back of this thing so you can access from either side, whether it's at the bottom or the top, um, it was better than trying to pull, take this off and then pull everything out from the top to get to something on the bottom, which I think was a really good improvement on, on his part. Um, 
Inside here, it looks like he's got the vest portion. Um, so yeah, this is the vest that the expansion pack and canteen will clip onto here. Let's see here. Um, I am gonna play around, play around with this for a minute. It looks like I'm gonna have to adjust it, but uh. I'll be right back guys, let me uh, get this adjusted. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, took me a couple minutes, but had to get the initial fit on this, so I got the initial fit. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do some more adjusting to this. Um, once I put some weight in here, I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what it looks like on the initial fit. He built in a lot of adjustability into this rig, which is awesome because you can be a short torso person, a long torso person, maybe like me getting up there in your mid thirties and getting a little bit of that Dunlap disease, you know. Uh, so there, this is he builds it to be one size fits all. I, I think he's done a pretty good job on that. The only downside to that is is you do have a lot of straps to shore up but that's a price I'm willing to pay for comfort and, and, and versatility so um, that being said I'm gonna cut this right here for a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and set this up put some weight into it and then I'll get back with you and uh, we'll go show you what it looks like with weight on it um, the way I'm going to use it, I'm probably going to, I don't know, I'm thinking about maybe going to the Peralta Trail tomorrow and doing a couple mile hike down the trail and back just to, just to uh, work the bugs out of this before I really get deep into the woods and need to rely on it to do what I need it to do. So stay tuned, stay with me here guys, I'll be back in a couple minutes. All right. This right here is just an example of uh, one kind of loadout you could, you could do with this uh, as a deuce gear, as they would call it in, a, in the uh, Marine Corps, of course, this ain't a pistol belt and ammunition with a wire H harness. It's uh, the civilian, and, and it's, I guess, more resembling of a, of a chest rig or, or a plate carrier. but. This is, uh, there's a hundred, hundred ways you could go with this, but this here is my, uh, my initial thoughts on how I'm going to load this out to be my scout gear or deuce gear. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know where that came from, but anyways, so I do have some weight on it now. Um, got some, uh, little bugs here and there I gotta work out but all in all with all the straps and adjustability you got to this you can you can cinch this everything on here to your body nice and tight I mean I, I could if I had to I could I could work on all my material um, for Kaji Kempo with this on it's out of the way I put a holster right here for my pistol and there's nothing right here other than a some straps I got to police up, but you know, put my pistol there. Um, anyways, let me show you what's uh, what's in this kit. We'll start with the uh, backpack now, or the expansion pack that Jason calls it. But uh, one of the nice things about this rig is you don't have to take to get to your water or to get to your pack. You don't have to uh, you don't have to take the expansion pack completely off. You leave two buckles on and. You've got access to your canteen and access to your front pouch and, and, and your back pouch. You know, just simply by undoing two straps and, you know, keep moving. I like that element about it. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, start with what we got in the expansion pack here as my initial setup. And we'll go out and, we'll go out and have some fun with this and we'll fine tune it. That's the beauty about this stuff is once you get it, go out and use it, fine tune it, and have some fun. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look at this. So in the canteen pouch, 
Here I've got a uh, 40 ounce clean canteen with a 20 ounce uh, stainless steel cup. That, that, that can serve as a cook kit too. Um, in this uh, little, what I'm calling document pouch, I've got some uh, wet ones. I got a uh, cotton bandana, 100% cotton bandana. Um, uses for this is fire filtering and, and first aid. Uh, I also carry another one in my cargo pocket at all times. So, <clears throat> and then I got a third one in here that's keeping some tool silence. Uh, I threw some snare material in there just because it would fit. I still got room in here to put stuff, but the intent of the scout kit isn't to put everything you need for 72 hours in there. It's, it's there, everything you need to make it through a night, but you could, you could, you could, uh, Definitely make it 72 hours and longer with what's in here. And what else is it? So nothing else in there. And then we go to the back, and we got these two zippers here to access all our items from bottom to top if we want, left to right. So I've got some rope to make a ridge line with. I've got my little shelter kit that consists of a another 100% cotton bandana. And in here I've got some tent stakes, I got some prussic loops, I got a four-in-one file, and I've got some eating utensils. Um, and it's all wrapped up in this to keep all that stuff silent. Um, uh, Gone Boy Silky Saw. And a lot of this stuff is new. I gotta go out and use it, so I, I can't wait. I'm stoked. Uh, a map of the area you're gonna be in. Um, a uh, reusable, a reusable uh, space blanket could also serve as a uh, as a tarp. It's got four grommets in it. Um, my Brutton compass I just upgraded from my basic ten dollar compass to uh, this Brutton because uh, it has a little magnifying glass on it and a mirror, so you got a some first aid options and fire starting options with this as, long, as well as signaling um, but I'm going through the instructions on this I gotta play with this a while um, the way it's set up it doesn't make any sense to me that the mirror would be on this side but that's the way the compass is kinda acting so you'd aim with it but I don't know it's, it's kinda weird but anyways, that's the compass. Um, three mil, 55 gallon drum liner. Uh, you can stuff it full of debris, make a insulating mattress, a moisture barrier, dry bag, um, water catch, all kinds of uses for that. And then I actually do have a 10 liter dry bag in here, and I think this is essential kit for the southwest deserts just mainly because when it rains in the desert you need to capitalize on it that's free water you have one of these on you you can capture yourself 10 liters of water not even have to purify it as long as you're not near a coal burning plant or a nuke plant or something where you're getting acid rain but for the most part we don't have none of that in Arizona except for one nuke plant but that's on the other side of the state from me. And then a military poncho, once again, another tarp, rain gear, whatever. I don't think this is gonna remain in this kit, but for now it will. I think I'm gonna switch this out with a uh, an actual outer shell type of jacket that's waterproof and windproof, and uh, this will probably find its way in my son's kit. But like I said, this is just an example of how you can load this out for a day hike or a, even a, if you want to try to go minimalist. There's plenty of room in there to add some food and stuff like that that you want. But um, one thing I, let's go back through the rest of this kind of 10C items. Um, some Gorilla Cargo Tape, 
a uh, fire rod, fire starter, uh, a headlamp. And then over here, I managed to put a complete military style uh, IFAC in there. Just see if it would hold it and give you another option of, uh, you know, if manufactured first aid is really important to you. You've got room to do a, a, a good trauma kit in there if you wanted to, if that's important to you. But with the items that I've shown you already, that's, you already got some really good first aid items there in the cotton and the cargo tape and the cordage tourniquet. I mean, there's, a, there's first aid items in there. You just have to rely on the environment for antibacterial stuff like uh, spider webs. A tourniquet, um, a pair of EMT shears. Like I said, this is probably something I want to carry with me in my scout kit. This is just giving you an option for those of you that feel comfortable having a trauma kit with you. This is a combat gauze. Um, an Olay's uh, Tactical Medical Solutions. I think this is a four and a half inch compression bandage. Uh, what else we got? Oh, um, non latex gloves. Instructions on the tourniquet. Um, a CPR face shield. And that's it. That's a complete eye fact in there. So there you go. I mean, this is just. Uh, the iFact will probably find its way out of this pocket just mainly because I can put that into a Molly medical pouch deal and I can either strap that to here, here, or to the top of the pack on either side, here or here. I don't necessarily have to eat up this quick access area um, for this stuff. I just thought I'd show it to see what this would hold. Now I know what you're thinking. It's like, man, you got you got almost every one of Dave Cadbury's 10 C's except for a, a knife and a, and a uh, canvas needle. But here's a little gem I bought last week up at a gun show. I've been uh, eyeballing this particular knife from this particular company for a year now and I finally was in a position to where I could spend the money on it, this is a uh, knife made by Dawson Knives in Prescott Valley, Arizona, and it is their Huntsman model. It is made out of, uh, I believe it's 3 16 high carbon um, steel. It's got a four inch blade on it, Cerakoting, um, and yeah, before you guys go all apeshit about the fire stick and the Cerakoting, I am going to polish off a little piece here so I have some exposed metal to help with this striking but and this uh, ergonomically this this knife just feels real good in the hand it's uh, got a nice weight to it a um, little on the heavy side and I like that just it feels like a tool in your hand so I can't wait to go out and break this in too as well but on the back here I got taped it canvas needle and the home for this thing will be a horizontal carry on my uh, waist small on my back so, there you all go the essential carry system from Jason at Primal Outdoors this is the unboxing and initial loadout in it now it's time to go out and have some fun with it take care guys